Hey guys, what's going on? Zero Magnumex here. I do believe I've made the new Synchrocentric deck of the format, and that's not arrogant. This will be whenever the Atlanteans come out. Uh, at least I hope they do. It's really, really powerful. Uh, it plays very much like the old Synchrocentric decks do, but with a little bit of a spin on it. It focuses more on getting like level 8s and stuff out, and doing all the shenanigan shenanigans you'd normally do. Anyways, I'll go over the deck list and let me know what you guys think. We have three Valor, two of this guy, because he's important for D.Va. Three of this guy, three Marksman. He's basically what made the deck work. One uh, Point Man, just to grab with, you know, D.Va or Marksman and stuff. He becomes 2200, so he's there. Three D.Va, she's heart and soul of the deck. Say again, three Tour Guide. Black Luster, two Tengu, and you know, three Ryo, three Atlantean Roars, just because in case your opponent lets you go nutty and get all your water monsters out with D.Va, like you know, go into D.Va, go into this, grab him, and then they're like Torrental Tribute, you can have this for a backup at the end phase, that's like a super call to haunt for the deck. That's pretty nice. Two Space Typhoon, one Heavy, Reborn, Dark Coal, because it's Synchrocentric, I have Mind Control in here. Mirror Force, uh, the Solemn Brigade, and two Call the Haunted. These are in here for uh, Sangyun replays mostly, to get the searches for the deck and all that stuff, and Tengu, and what else have you, and, you know, nutty stuff. It's Synchrocentric, guys. Call the Haunted's important. Okay, Extra Deck Mistworm. If there could ever be a better deck that could use Trishula in this, it is this one, and I hope Trishula comes off the ban list. Yes, it's wishful thinking. I know. I'm aware. It probably won't happen, like 95% chance of not happening, but I can dream because this is the one deck of the format that can run all three effectively Ice Barrier Dragons, and it's really sick. Uh, of course, we have Gungnir. I mean, it wouldn't be this deck without him. Embryonic. Even though it's lost power, it's still available. It's still there. Hyper Librarian, in case you can get a setup on your opponent and use him. Um, he's not as effective in this build because you can't drop him, then synchro again and again and again like you could with Tengu and stuff. But he's a decent level 5, and I would definitely take him into consideration. Okay, generic synchro, Stardust, uh, Scrap Dragon, Black Rose, Catastor, Armory Arm. Okay, Xyz, two Leviathan Dragons, one Acid Golem, one of this little guy because he gets rid of the opposing Zen mains. I love it. Uh, if you haven't looked into him, he's really, really good, and Zen mains is very difficult to deal with, especially in this format, so he's really nice. And he can just also eat Xyz materials off of stuff like Acid Golem and set up a background stuff, so, you know... It becomes their turn. Uh, they go from draw phase to standby phase. I think you can use it to detach on their turn because it's quick. So Acid Golem might just be dead for them and end up having them take 2,000 points of damage in a turn, which is pretty nice. Uh, Leviathan Dragon, or sorry, Leviathan Dragon and Zen Mains. That's a deck in a nutshell. I mean, it's Atlantean Synchrocentric. It works. It's fairly good. Uh, you know, they basically gave the deck a new birth after killing plants, and I think that this deck will end up in the tier 1 bracket. Now with that said, I don't think it will be anything more impressive than the old Synchrocentric decks. That's just the thing. It is Synchrocentric, so it's going to perform just like the old deck did, and I believe the old deck was being beaten out by Dino Rabbit and maybe beaten by Insectors. So anyways, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you think this is a new Synchrocentric deck. It has the potential to go nutty. It has the potential to be powerful and very, very strong. Alright, peace YouTube.